Hi friends, this is Budget Team. Welcome back to another episode of South Stand Stories. And you think that there is even a snowball's chance in hell that you are dragging me down into a relegation battle when you, my friend, are delusional, almost as delusional as me, thinking that this camera is on. Oh yes, it is. I have to test that one. But I tell you what was being tested more than that was Melia today. How the hell we only conceded to, I do not know, because... Wow, Wolves were peppering us like Sam in that first half over there. More shots than a 50 cent diss track. But oh my lord, if you think you're keeping out Rodrigo Moreno. Luke Ailing man. Oh my god, this guy has been gagging for a goal. Finally, he managed to finish. And what a finish it was. Beautiful diving header. But Leeds, we showed class. We showed fight. We showed more fight than Leon Edwards is going to show tonight, mate. Oh my lord, I cannot put into words how happy I am right now. I told you, man, this table, it, it, it's tighter than a nun's legs. It really is. It's four or five points and you go from 12th to 20th. You go from the penthouse to the outhouse. It is ridiculous. I mean, Crystal Palace were big chilling up there in 12th. Now, they're just one point ahead of us, mate. We are up into 14th. Oh my god. Lord, what a massive result. I was getting shook there. I was getting so, so petrified when Wolves started getting those goals in. Because look, it was all set up perfectly. Southampton were losing to Spurs. Leeds are cruising past Wolves. And then all of a sudden, Wolves start to sneak and wrangle their way back in. All of a sudden, Southampton start wrangling their way back in. Then they equalise against Spurs. And then, oh, uh, the drama at the end there. Who actually knew what was going on? Can someone please explain to these chromosomes in my head what actually was going on there? The game ends. The full-time whistle was blown. It had gone onto his lips. The sound had whistled through the stadium. Then they pull it back. They try to remove Rodrigo's goal for his hand glittering down Traore's shirt. Then, shorts rather. Then they resume play. Then a man gets sent off who wasn't even on the pitch. And it goes on to the 101st minute. I was absolutely cacking my pants during that whole situation. But, alas, we managed to survive. We managed to get a vital three points. And yes, look, it wasn't amazing throughout the entire game. Wolves really were putting us under the cosh. And we do have to figure out a way of, 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 of maneuvering through this sort of weak midfield defence patch that we have. Especially without Tyler Adams there. They were coming through us like a vindaloo in a hot summer's night at times. And it was looking a little bit sketchy. Almost as sketchy as, as me right now. Yeah, just double checking the recording again. You know, we don't want to mess anything up over here. But... <laughs> yeah, man, it was it was sketchy there at times, um, but we managed to soldier through. We did manage to soldier on. We managed to to get the three points and managed not to concede too many, which I find awfully impressive, if you ask me. And in front of goal, finally a bit of composure. At times we couldn't finish in a brothel this season, but today. Oh my God, you couldn't stop us from scoring. We were like David Beckham going into a nightclub in the early 2000s. We were scoring left, right and centre. Ailing, Rasmus Christensen. Who thought he would get his name on a score sheet, mate? Unfathomable scenes. I'm so happy. I'm delirious. Let me know what you guys thought, man. Were you guys impressed with the way we plays? Do you think Javi Gratz is finally starting to get a style of play? Because I do offensively, but defensively, I think it's a bit of an enigma of a game because of the fact that we didn't have Tyler Adams. So it's a bit of a weird one. But I still think there are things to work on. But a massive three points. And finally, finally, three points have come back to Animo. But for now, guys, I will see you very soon. Let me know your man of the match and what your prediction was before the game. I want to know it all down in the comment section down below.